Hi Leanne. Hello Yvette. Okay, we've got lots of people here. Welcome everyone. I hope you guys are ready to craft. Hi Teresa. Hi Haley. Okay, I'm going to put my my phone. Hi Leanne. I'm going to put my phone into the holder and then try to find myself on Facebook so I can see comments. Hello Anne. Wow, now I'm nervous and Redfern's in the house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, one moment. I just need to set up my phone quickly. Oh, let me just lock the camera. Here we go. Yep. Okay. Right, I just need to find myself on Facebook quickly. One moment. <sighs> if you have friends that are not here and they need to join, if you wouldn't mind sharing the link with people because I know lots of times people can't find me. Like I'm struggling to find myself right now. Here we go. I think I found myself. Chats. Hi, Rachel. You found me. Okay. Let's see. I just need to make sure you can see my desk, okay? Traffic, I think you must might just move this somewhere else, please. Yes, you need to do in the first place. No, we put the light there. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you can see my desk, if everything's okay. Is there a glare on the mat? Do I need to put a craft mat down? Let me just see if this looks better. The ease of flying. Mm. Hello, Joyce. Hi, Ronel. Is the craft mat better than the glass mat? Eh? I think so. There's no glare now. Okay. Okay. I see thumbs up, so I'm guessing that the craft mat works better. Just hope I don't cut through my craft mat. Perfect. So good evening everyone. Thank you for joining me tonight. And um I hope you guys are going to enjoy the process of putting together your um your house tonight we are going to do the outer box which um should take us around about an hour if i work at a slow pace um i just wanted to go through the kit for those people who ordered the kit from me so inside your kit you would have received the album this you can put to one side because we will be working on the outer box first and the, the album will work on at a later stage. Um, what we need tonight is this pack. Okay, so inside this pack, I'm just going to open it. We are going to require the chipboard pieces. which are these ones. And one um, A4 black cardstock. Is everyone with me? Hi, 
Hi, Francis. Okay, I'm just checking, checking the chat. So if I go quiet, I'm just reading. Okay, so we're going to be using these two first. And this, these two sizes you'll see is exactly the same. Um, and that is your side and your, your base. So we don't need that for the moment. We're going to work on one of your side pieces. So I thought I would go through the whole process of how I actually measured and cut my, um, my sides of my house. So my piece or the pieces that you received in your kit is eight and a half inches by 12 inches long. So if you have, I told everybody you need a pencil and I didn't bring mine. So if you have a 12 by 12 sheet, you're going to need to trim it down to eight and a half wide by 12 inches long okay and then what i did was i measured because we have an eight inch album inside the house i measured eight and a half inches up so we had about a half an inch play in the box wait let me use my thumb holds ruler it's better what's happening i got my pencil oh, thank you Shame, traffic thought I needed a pencil. Okay, so I'm going to mark it there. And I'm going to mark it on the other side at eight and a half as well. Okay. And I'm going to draw in that line. So we've got an eight and a half square there. I really hope I drew a straight line because I'm famous for being skewed, for measuring skew. That one looks right. Okay, it's right. So the little piece on the top you have is about three and a half inches. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to find the half of, of this piece. And that will be four and a quarter. So there's my four and a quarter mark. I'm going to measure four and a quarter on the top as well. There we go. And I'm going to draw a line here. Oh, that's cute. There is probably an easier way, but I'm showing you how I how I worked it out, how I did my one. Sorry. I'm standing, so I drew a skew line. Let me just do that again. We can't have anything skew. It has to be quite accurate. Otherwise, your house is going to be skew. Okay. Um, one quarter... There we go. It's so different when you work alone. You can make those mistakes and nobody will see. But now the whole whole lot of you are watching me. You're making me nervous. Let me just see. Um, I just want to make sure the side is right. Why does the side feel wrong? Okay, it's right. Okay, so I'm now going to draw a line from that line to that line so I can get the pitch of my roof so we've got that there and that's the pitch of the roof is everybody with me Where's my comments? It's just me and... Okay. <laughs> just me and my phone. I'm talking to myself. Okay. So. I'm going to use a craft knife for this. 
and I am not as good as some people with a craft knife this is not my favorite tool in the world because I tend to here we go one down I tend to run skew so even though I have a ruler here I don't know I just go past the ruler and then I'm I'm completely skew so here goes nothing There we go. So we are using two inch chipboard tonight. Um, in case anybody wants to replicate this and you didn't buy the kit. So instead of going through the whole measuring process, we can of course cheat and just draw in that line. Just need to make sure. Sorry, I don't want to knock my phone there. We just need to make sure that everything is nicely aligned. And we can draw in that line and trim off the other piece. If I'm going too fast, let me know. Hi, Debbie. Hello, Mariette. Here is Lot. Is Auntie Nabi here? Auntie Navi said she's going to watch tonight. I didn't see her, her come on. I was about to say the cutting's going smoothly and then I nearly went skew. So I'd rather not say anything. Okay, so we've got two pieces. We have a back and a front. Is everybody with me? I know everybody can't find me. I have no idea how to make it. I don't know. I'm not very technically inclined. It's a problem. What did I do with my tape? Oh, yes. So... The next thing we're going to do, let me just get my notes out before I forget what I'm doing. Um, so we need to edge the sides, the top, with um, our construction tape. And the reason why I, you don't have to, it's optional, but the reason why I do it is because then my, my project is complete. I don't have to ink it. I don't have to add paint to it afterwards or I don't have to wrap it with um, with cardstock it's already finished and how I do that is um, I use this is very similar to a gaffer tape it's just a fabric lined one um, so all I do is I run the tape and I'm gonna try and do this in one in one go so that we don't have any gaps sorry i just need to lift my my phone slightly i'm afraid i'm gonna knock it so can you still see am i in shot Oh, Auntie Navi, assalamu alaikum. Hi, Shireen. So I'm in shot, eh? Just let me know if I go out of shot. Okay, and then I'm going to trim this off. Now, this is a very, very sticky tape. And what I have found is when I cut this tape, I don't cut with the, with the front end. Let me just see. Am I in shot? I don't cut with the front tip of the scissors. I'm actually going to use the short one because yesterday I cut my finger with that. I cut, I open my scissor completely. I open the whole mouth of the scissor and I snip. 
that way you don't get anything getting stuck on your scissor blades because that's quite painful now what I'm going to do is because we've got these angles here I'm going to snip into those areas um, I just want to see if I'm in shot yeah I am so I'm going to snip into those areas so we can get a neat finish so snip hi Karen And with the first piece we can just push it down like that one side done and this one I'm going to mitre ever so slightly not too much because we don't want the chipboard to be exposed Sorry, if I, if I stop, I'm just checking the, I'm just checking my iPad to see if I'm in shot. So, then I'm going to snip into that one. And the same on the other side. So, you need a really nice, sharp little scissors for this one. And then I'm going to push that side down, like so. So, you see there, that's the mitre piece there. And the other side, like so. There we go. And we do the same on the other end. And I first do the straight side because it's easier. We do that mitre again. That didn't mitre very well. And we fold it over. To make sure that everything is completely secured we need to burnish that but first I'm going to clean up the edges so these scissors are so awesome they um, supposedly are bedashery scissors but wow they are sharp I actually cut my finger right there the other day okay so we got the one side done Just looking for my bone fold yeah. and we are going to burnish this really well you want to make sure that we've got a good connection between the card and the tape so that things don't come loose afterwards and that's the one side done now we repeat on the other side are you all with me? I'm not seeing any comments. Where's the comments? Is everyone with me? Am I going too fast? Am I okay? Elsa B. Oh, shame. Once I'm on, I'm afraid, Elsa B, I can't do anything. Um, shame. Uh, I'm not sure what to do because I use my I use my phone to link up on on the live, so I can't do anything. Is she a member of the group? Do you know she's a member of the group? Oh, you're all concentrating. Okay, apologies. I'm, I'm interrupting you. <laughs> okay, so back to our snippies. Right on the edges. 
and we're working on the straight edge pushing it down and there I've gone a little bit skew but this tape is very forgiving you can actually just lift it and pull it straight and basically what you're going to see of this tape is about a quarter inch because once you put your pattern paper on you just see the the black outline so we're snipping there we're snipping there yes oh you can get the tape from me i stock the tape in cape town and i'm quite happy to ship out to you um we can I'm just going to swap scissors because this one snips better. Might to that side. And we can push this piece down. If you're out of town, I ship with the courier guy, so... And if you're looking for Stamperia products, you can find it here, as well as iCraft. Okay, so mitre. And mitre. And then we push this one down. And if this is a little bit skewed, it doesn't matter because, like I said, we're covering it with um, with designer pattern paper. And I'm going to mitre that side as well. Just so we got a neat finish. And that's the other side done. Who's working with me tonight? Oh, mustn't I disturb you? I'm sorry. I'm disturbing you again. So we're burnishing. What's this? So yes. Oh. <laughs> Cindy, did you type your vacuum cleaner with the tape? <laughs> well done to you. It's got more than one purpose then. I didn't see you. Teresa, take your time, Teresa. Don't rush. You can always watch the video again. Right, so we've got that. And if you have any bubbles in your in your um, tape, just burnish it really nicely. I can see I had a little bit of a bump here. And there we go. Two sides covered. So, we ended up with my bases. Here we go. So, the base is going to go in the middle here. And your base is, for those who didn't get a kit, two and three quarters by eight and a half. It's got to be the length of your box or your house. And here we are going to edge the two short sides as well. This will be joining here and here and we'll be joining it with the tape. So we don't need to edge those sides, but we do need to edge the the short sides oh so skew so i just do that and if there's tape overhang i just snip it off we don't want any tape overhang Yeah. 
You know, I made this house in November last year with my memory. It's a darn good thing I took photos and stuff when I did it because <laughs> there was no way I would be able to remember how I did this. I would have had to go back to the drawing board. My memory is terrible. If any of you do dealings with me on a regular basis, you will know. I am very forgetful. I've gone skew, but the pattern paper is going to cover that, so that's fine. Okay. So we've got those three pieces all nicely edged. And then the next thing we need to do is to join it. Now, because this is going to be a working hinge, you can use cardstock, but it's going to be too stiff. So I use the tape to create my working hinge. And I'm just going to use the this craft mat that I've got here now, because it makes it easier. You can use your scoring board. You can use your Tim Holtz medium mat. Um, because what I normally do is I leave about a quarter of an inch gap here. And the reason why I do that is that there's enough play in my hinge um, to prevent things from getting stuck. So, can you see that? I just need to make sure I'm all straight. So use the lines on your scoreboard or on your, on your craft mat. That does that look straight? More or less. It's as straight as I'm going to get it. Okay, if you were at National Scrapbook Day with um, in Cape Town, you would have done the little mini album with us and we joined the spine with the cover in the same way. So now I'm going to flip it and I just want to see if I'm in shot and then you pull this up quite tight. and bring this piece down and I normally cut this piece off about a quarter of an inch before the edge because we don't want any raw edges to show where's my scoreboard and we just score that in nicely So you've got your one side attached. And there we go. Can you see? We've got a hinge. So that's how I do my, my album covers as well. Just clean that up. This is a bit messy here. Okay. Now we need to do the other side. So, same thing, I'm going to work on the solid line there, and the solid line there, and I take my time with this, I don't rush with this part, because you need your house to be straight, if it's skew, it's really not going, then it's not going to line up, so don't rush take your time and if it goes cockeyed this tape is very forgiving you can just pull it off and start again let's see I think I'm good Same principle, you're putting it across. Flip it. Put 
Pulling it tight. Pull it towards you. And trim. And there we've got the front and the back of your house secured. Yes, Shafiq? Quarter inch. These gaps are quarter inch wide. You'll find that I leave quarter inch gaps with everything. I just feel it gives me enough room to play. So here it doesn't matter which side is your back or your front. This is a flexible hinge. It works both ways. Okay. Are we all on the same page? Cheryl McCarthy, include you for what? Thank you, Sharon. Elsabi, did Elise come in? Hi, Elise. I'm so glad you found us. <laughs> what did I do with my other piece? Is it this one? Yes. Okay, so the side is exactly the same size as the base. Okay. Now I'm just thinking, I need to edge this as well. So I'm joining it there. Yes, let's just edge it. because we need neat edges so and here i'm going to cut this a little bit longer let me just see, can you see what I'm doing? I'm cutting this slightly longer. This tape is freakishly, freakishly sticky. So that I don't have a join on the end. I want to take that right across. So I'm going to snip this. Like that. And then I'm going to push this piece down. don't stick I'm gonna put this see I talk to the tape oh my gosh <laughs> I forget I've got an audience here I'm talking to the tape good grief okay so we're going to mitre that and please take your time with this I did like we had a hundred plus people at um, national scrapbook day and 20 odd tables so I did this 20 odd times at the beginning of I think it was end of Jan last year and I've made so many albums so I've had lots of practice so this, oh somebody asking what tape I'm using I'm using what is very similar to a gaffer tape I should all but it's more like a fabric type of tape um, you can get it from me down here in Cape Town if you're looking for it. I'm um, happy to ship it out to you. Just let me know which, which part of South Africa you are in. Okay, so I'm also going to mitre that one. See how it sticks? It sticks to everything. And then I'm going to push the side down. And I'm going to do the other side. I just need to mitre this one. So that's the one side done.
can you see how sticky this is short side done and this one I'm also going to mitre my scissors are feeling the burn of the stickiness sometimes I just use the neck scissor okay and then I'm going to fold that over like that so we'll do a mitre there as well and the only reason why I'm doing that is so that we don't have a raw edge there did I miss another question it's called um, I call it my black construction tape um, someone ordered oh Denise I will check after the it's very difficult to work and see comments guys so I will try and reply to you after the live if that's okay I've got Mr. Edmund running up and down telling me somebody's asking a question Shane okay and then that one oh no that just looks nasty I'm gonna mitre that one too I'm stuck to my fingers. So, trim, trim, fold. There we go. So that is your side done. If anybody has a cure for sticky scissors, because all my scissors are sticky from this tape. And so now we need to burnish this like we burnished all the others just to make sure that everything is nice and secure. Kind of getting used to speaking to myself. Okay. I just want to remove all the stickiness here on my mat. Clean up my space. Belinda's in the house. Shafiq says Belinda's in the house. Hi, Belinda. How are you? Okay, so we need to join these two together. And what I used to join the two is a piece of card. And um, I sh I've given people in their kits in more than enough card to finish the um, to finish the album and and the house. Um, but I'm not going to cut up a full sheet of card because I've got lots of scraps here. So I'm just going to get a piece with me. And as luck would have it. It's not in the drawer, so let's cut up a piece. Okay, so my joiner needs to be as wide as my side. So that is, let me just double check the measurements before I make a boo boo. It is, what did I say? Two and three quarters. So it's two and three quarter wide. And then I normally cut it about two inches high. So let me just cut a two inch piece. I thought I'd put a piece of off cut here. I've got such a lot of off cuts. So that's two inches. And then we need it to be two and three quarter wide. So that's the way it is. And that's our joiner there. We now need to score this piece and if you don't have a scoring board it's fine you can just score it manually with your hand just fold it 
I love my scoring board. I use it for everything. Just need to put it back where it belongs because my desk is not big enough to accommodate. If you've never scored anything before, we scored towards the bubble side. Oh, and by the way, Shafiq said Belinda's in the house. I almost forgot. Belinda and I are live tomorrow. I'm freaking out about it, by the way. I'm making a card with Belinda tomorrow on the Stamperia site. I have no clue if I'm going to sleep tonight. I'm freaking out big time. But um, I hope you guys are going to come and support us. So when I do any construction, I use red tape. And I'm going to put a piece of red tape on either side here. More towards the the edge of your of your um your little hinge. What is the size of that? This is two and three quarter by two inches wide. Oh, thank you, Anne. I really appreciate your confidence. <laughs> You know what? It doesn't matter how often you go live. It's always scary. I'm always nervous beforehand. Okay. So we've got our red tape. And we burnish this really well. To make sure that there's a good connection. Just get rid of my cutting board quickly. So, this needs to come on the side. And when I did it, I didn't have a camera in my way. So, let me see how I'm going to maneuver this now. So, with this one, we need about one eighth of an inch. And I, in fact, I think I'm going to use... I'm going to use my scoreboard for that because it's just going to make my life simpler. Let's see, is it going to make my life simpler and more difficult? Right. So I've got my scoreboard and this needs to be one eighth of an inch gap there. Just so that we have enough room for this hinge to go up and down. Does that make sense? So what I'm going to do is, now let me just get this right. Um, I need to put it there. Yes. Okay. Let's see if I remember how I did this. So I'm going to, am I in shot? Yes. I'm going to attach this here. Um, and actually, I'm just going to add some glue. Where's my glue? I think I'm just going to add some glue to top up that little bit there. And to give me a little bit of wiggle room. Because... If I stick skew, I have a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm sticking that right down there. Oh, thank you so much. What did Rachel say? The small card piece, Rachel, this one. This is, um, it is the width of your side, which is two and three quarter, and it is two inches wide. Just gonna wipe my hands. I don't want glue everywhere. Okay, so that's got to go there. And how I'm gonna do it, I think. And here goes nothing. So I put a little glue there as well, and I'm. I think I'm going to do it this way so I can see where I'm sticking. Um, I'm going to go like that. Okay, let's see if I'm straight. No, I'm not straight. I'm not straight. Don't stick. Don't stick. Is 
this is actually quite difficult to do when you've got this camera in your face. Right, let's see. No, it's skew. It is skew. Sorry, guys. Give me one minute. Hold on. I'm going to stick this slightly lower. Give me some more wiggle room there. I probably did this a few times when I made my original one and I can't remember that fact. Let's see now. So. be it. I'm just gonna clean off my glue here quickly and see. Yep, there we go. So you see you need a, a I think it's more than a one eighth of an inch so mark it down as two eighths of an inch gap so this runs freely like that. Okay so we got that and we got that and there is the start of your exploding house was that very hard to do where's my comments Charmila you make everything oh no Francis you know very much as well as I do how many times I mess up I mess up all the time none of us have perfect um, the only time you learn is when you make a mistake. That's my motto. So, and I mean, if you don't make mistakes, you don't learn. So that's that. And then what happens is your album slides in here. So the spine of your album is actually the other side of the house. So I thought what we would do tonight is that, so that... It gives people an opportunity to catch up, those people who didn't work along with us. It gives them the week to catch up with, with us until, we, until everyone is at the same stage. And then next week, we can carry on with the, the roof construction because that's a little bit technical. And I'm not a technical person, so I struggled really hard with it. Um, but I got it right which is the important thing. So if I got it right, then anybody can get it right. Um, I must admit, the administrator helped me with that one too. But I kind of remember how I did it. So I'm sure we're going to get it right. <laughs> Whole times. So yeah, um, I think that's as far as I'm going to go tonight. If you guys have any questions, we can go through the questions. Um, let's I'm looking at my comments. Elise, you can't just watch. You're going to have to do it. It's not. It's just a little bit fiddly. You're right. It's just a little bit fiddly. It's not high grade. No. I just took... Um, the, the only thing that I thought... Look, this I kind of planned in my head. And when I, I must say, when I put the roof on, I wasn't sure that it was actually going to do that. Um, so, <laughs> the first time I had a hinge on the inside as well. And then I realized that this thing was stiff and staying there. So, it, there was a bit of trial and error involved. But... The, the reaction I get from people when I lift the roof is just amazing. It just I get a giggle every time I, <laughs> I see it. Let's see. He is a sweetie. He's very patient with me. In fact, I was at a class on Saturday and I'm so bad. Um, I went to an Arabic calligraphy class to do a background with someone. And... When I came home, my house was clean. 
and I didn't notice because I was so excited about my class I didn't notice until afterwards so I'm terrible I'm more focused on my own stuff I'm in this room all the time but yeah I'm lucky I've got a very patient husband hi Jenny Um, event the, the the embellishments were not part of the kit I, I did say that the kit is the basic kit because I assumed that many people would have their own I mean I've got jars of flowers so I assume that most people would have flowers um, I'm trying to find the comments again it's gone where did it go where did it go okay and you should make one it's <laughs> it's not hard at all it, it's got more um it's got more uh what's the word i'm looking for like belinda says <laughs> party trick yes um it's got more bang than 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 it's actually worth um i think just that initial uh reaction i get when people they want to see the completed one i have it right here here we go this is the completed one so what i used on mine is i used the house of roses paper from stamperia and i had just discovered the crackle paste the gold crackle paste from stamperia and i just crackled everything so i crackled here i crackled the spine of my house i mean of my album I just love this crackle paste. It is absolutely awesome. It comes in in transparent, it comes in white, it comes in gold, silver, and they call it ancient pink. It looks very much like um, like rose gold, I think. And then these flowers come from my stash, but behind you, let me just see if I'm in shot. Behind you, these are the die cuts of the house of roses range um i think we sold out on die cuts at the moment and on 12 by 12 papers but i still have the 8 by 8 paper pack in stock and then at the bottom i just punched out some leaves and flowers and i have a die cut that was in my stash i don't know if it's a die or if i cut it on my silhouette or something but it worked there i found it and I added lots of dimensional tape to it so the um, the embellishments are raised and then I'm not sure if it's gonna come up on the camera because my camera is so close to my table let me see if I can raise it slightly uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it see it explode when I open it so let's see if it works here we go so that's the inside and then we've got the album on the inside so you see there i changed the the join here slightly because mine has a raw edge this was my prototype so i made a small change to the actual assembly of the house so that you don't have that raw edge on your one so that's the album it is our basic 8x8 album and then there's lots of flaps and pockets and stuff in here i have a video on youtube if you go onto my youtube channel and while you're there don't forget to like and subscribe um where i do a page through the whole album i uh, don't want to do it here because you can you can check it out on youtube but yeah so that was and you know what the the funny thing is with my ideas i i don't know where they come from At this was i literally took i saw the paper pad's name was house of roses and i thought hmm why can't i make a house and then i thought but shucks there's so many houses out there everybody makes a house i want to make something different and i thought you get exploding boxes but i haven't seen an exploding house yet so why not try it 
and yeah that's what i did so that is the house so next week we will be doing the roof you can see there's my roof um i didn't even finish it off nicely here i was lazy but you can't see it so <laughs> i never got round to finishing it off but it's it's not hard to do once you know how and let me see if Shafiq can come and help me take my camera out of the holder because I can't do it alone. Shafiq, are you there? And then I can see if you have any more questions for me. So that just goes in there and that flaps up. I don't know if you can see it. And the roof goes on. Can you help me? I'll just, you just grab it like this. Thank you. Flip. Did I flip it? Yes. Okay. Hi, Marilyn. Okay, ladies. Was that um, informative enough? Was it? Was it easy enough to follow? Because I think that's the main thing. I want you to be able to do it. I know a lot of people bought the kits. And I don't want your kit to lie there. I want you to actually make use of it. Tani Gerda, you're late. How are you? Um, can you cover? Let me just see. What did they come inside the roof salon this week with black tape? Um, yes, you can. You can actually do that. That will be good. I need to remind myself again how I did it. So I'm pretty sure I covered the sides. Yes, I did. So you can cover all your edges if you want to. So you, you guys reckon it's something that you can do? You give me a thumbs up and tell me if you can do it. Yes, Marla, I know. I still struggle to keep the tape straight. straight. Don't worry. You're not alone there. And I've done lots. So it's just practice. And if it goes cute too badly, just pull it off and start again. Okay, Elise. I, I hope you guys are going to catch up. So next week, Wednesday, I want to see everybody's homework. I want pictures on the group to see how far your houses are. Um, I'm giving you homework. So... Mm -hmm. We can start on on Wednesday with the roof. Okay. I hope you guys had fun tonight. I'm so glad I cut straight. <laughs> I had nightmares. So one live down for the week. Tomorrow is another one at 4 o'clock. Please don't forget. I'm going to need your guys' support. If you're at home or if you're in an area where you can watch, Belinda and I are going to be making cards tomorrow. I'm going to be making a cute little card using the um, Lady Vagabond paper from Stamperia. So please, please tune in. And then on Saturday, you must join me at 10 o'clock on the 2021 NSD page. There's going to be lovely prizes up for grabs, and we're making two cards. So I'll be on from 10 till 12. It's a busy week. So, okay, Liz, I, I hope you're going to get right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ruth. Thanks, Sharon. Okay, guys, Auntie Nabi, I hope you and Rihanna managed to follow Yvette for roses and crackle. I've got beautiful roses from Thailand. So, Yvette, please, you're welcome to pop in and come and see. You need a I always tell people when you come to the shop you need at least an hour because there is quite a lot to see it's not a big shop maybe it is a little bit big but it's a home shop um, but there's lots to see it's jam-packed full of stuff full of good stuff so guys have a good evening thank you so much for your support thank you for joining me I really appreciate it and I'll see you all next week until then See you in cyberspace. Bye.